the senior dean present and asked me as the vice chancellor of the university to admit you as members of the university. In my reply, I said to you that you are now listed as members, that is to say, matriculated, and that you must observe the university statutes insofar as they concern you. This brief exchange is all that remains of a much older matriculation process, which involved an examination conducted in Latin, designed to ensure the academic competence of each incoming student. While the time for such necessities has long since passed, what has endured is a strong sense that such an important moment of transition deserves to be marked in appropriate fashion. You are now officially members of the University of Oxford. Congratulations. <laughs> stretches far back into our history. You follow in their footsteps as inheritors of their accumulated wisdom, and as trustees of their faith in the essential value of the teaching and research that we do here. You also have your own paths to follow and your own stories to add to Oxford's ever-expanding records. This afternoon you took your first steps on that journey. This ceremony brings together students from many different colleges, from a wide variety of backgrounds, cultures, and beliefs, and from all over the world. It's a powerful reminder that together, our whole is infinitely greater and richer than the sum of our parts. 